everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Students, teachers, staff in Central New York's largest district making their way back to the classroom today. And some Syracuse City schools were greeted with a warm first day welcome by Syracuse Mayor Ben Walsh and the district's interim superintendent. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith was at Salem High School this morning when classes began. As students at Salem Hyde Elementary School walk through the doors, Good morning. they were met with a big first day greeting. You guys know where you're headed? Yeah. yeah. Okay, have a great day. But it wasn't only the kids' first day. Hello. It's also interim superintendent Anthony Davis's first year leading the Syracuse City School District. This is what we do this morning. So when you get to actually see the kids come in and start the learning process, it makes it worthwhile. Heading into this school year was a big undertaking for Superintendent Davis for many reasons, including the major staffing shortage the district was up against. We started with about 300 classroom openings, and I'm proud today to say we're down to six. So we have those classrooms covered. We're moving forward with continuing to hire. With safety being top of mind for parents and families, Syracuse City Schools are adding more sentries and unarmed peace officers to each of its school buildings. The topic of improving its metal detection technology is also still a part of the conversation. The metal detectors um, are at all the high schools for entry. Uh, at middle schools, it's used uh, sparingly, not every day. And if something's going on in the community or something, we absolutely make sure that uh, those particular buildings that might be affected, we, we use them then. But at this point, we feel as though we've done those things to secure our buildings and make sure our kids have a safe and secure opening. And a safe and secure school year. In Syracuse, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. Adrian, thank you. We also asked the superintendent about some of the transportation concerns brought to your to the Your Stories team by you. And he wants to reassure parents, families, the district is providing transportation through First Student and Centro to all Syracuse City School students in need of services.